Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to CNN.com, we have a new updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more election videos. Here is part of CNN's uh, sign-up party for each state according to the alphabetical order of it. This is our source. And um, split votes. Both Maine and Nebraska allow electoral votes to be split. In Maine, two of four electoral votes go to the statewide winner, and one electoral vote goes to the winner in each of the two congressional districts. In Nebraska, two of the five electoral votes go to the winner of the statewide vote. One electoral vote goes to the winner in each of Nebraska's three congressional districts. And they also have the 2016 and 2020 result maps, and the results on the 2016 and 2020 maps have been allocated using current Electoral College votes. Certain states gained or lost Electoral votes following the 2020 decennial census. And um, we're going to have to go to the YAPMS. Mm, sorry, my brainworm kicked in. We are going to do the CNN map for the 2024 Electoral Race for Presidency. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Sorry, my throat's dry. Alaska, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii, with 4 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes, according to CNN.com, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. It hasn't been a toss-up for days. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to CNN.com, with its 11 electoral votes, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Well, actually, light blue. And uh, for Kamala Harris, giving her those 10 electoral votes, New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris, according to CNN.com. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. Its first district is red for Donald J. Trump. And its littlest district is blue for Kamala Harris. Nebraska has five electoral votes split between the state and its two congressional districts. And that is why they have different districts within Nebraska and the outlines Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is a light blue for Tampon Timothy and Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, with 10 electoral votes, according to CNN.com, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. And Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, according to CNN.com, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with ten electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is a light red. Two clicks for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, is a toss-up. It will not be colored in, according to CNN.com. South Carolina, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is a toss-up, according to CNN.com. It will not be colored in. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is a light blue. Two clicks for Kamala Harris. Nabbing her those sacred 13 electoral votes. Pennsylvania, according to CNN.com, and its 19 electoral votes is a toss-up. It will not be colored in. 
New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine with its four electoral votes. It's several districts within it. Uh, the state itself is red for Donald J. Trump. The two districts are supposed to be blue for Kamala Harris. And the rest of the states, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the District of Washington, D.C., and the rest of them are all blue for Kamala Harris. Blue Hawaii by Elvis Presley. Sorry for my several flubs in this video. My brainworm kicked in. I couldn't think properly. Thank you, RFK Jr. I do have to say one thing. We have Stein, who's also running, um, I believe, as an independent, and we have RFK Jr., who's also running. If you are voting for RFK in any of the non-battleground states, or even if he's still on the ballot in some of the, the toss-up states or whatever, please consider voting for one of the two candidates instead of RFK or Stein. You know that Stein's not going to win. You know that the chances of RFK winning are very, very slim. That's if both candidates die or they're hospitalized, or if they're removed from the ballot for some reason, or if they come in a deadlock tie, those are the only ways that the other two candidates, RFK Jr. and Stein, are, are even having a chance of winning. It is so unlikely. Do not throw your vote away. Do not waste it. Pick Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump with your vote. Make sure your vote is heard. Make sure your vote matters. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bag. And we are... Ow. Brainwormed. <laughs>